Hello, and welcome to today's video. Today I'm talking about ink cartridges, and particularly these Faber, Graf von Faber Castell ink cartridges. Um, I have some videos coming up about ink cartridges and a couple of associated products, which are, um, because, you know, there is a certain convenience and a certain appeal to using cartridges, as there are a number of cons as well. Um, but I uh, have been working with Faber Castell here in Australia, uh, doing some reviews of some of their products, and um, I've got a couple of ink reviews coming up, and with that, they sent me um, a few of these sort of boxes of cartridges. So turquoise, cognac brown, violet blue, and royal blue. And so I put them all in a pan, and I just thought I'd do like a writing sample. Um, Pros and cons to cartridges, of course. Cons, the biggest one is the fact that you're creating waste. These are not necessarily renewable products, but there are advantages to that uh, as well. The fact that you can reuse them. You can refill them with a syringe, so please don't just automatically empty your cartridge and throw it out. Think about that um, because there's a lot of standard international cartridge pens uh, like the Kaveco Sports and things like that that don't always have the most available converters. So something to think about. But the pros, of course, there's a good range of colours of these available. Like just looking at Graf von Faber-Castell, they've got such a wonderful range from their inks that are available in these cartridges. Uh, also, big uh, a big pro is the fact that they are, you know, they're, they're more affordable than a bottle of ink. Not per millimetre, of course. Per millilitre, you are paying uh, considerably more. But um, you can buy a pack of these and enjoy the ink uh, for, you know, a number of cartridges, you know, for a relatively affordable price. Uh, also, the convenience. Um, if you run out of ink, you just pop a new cartridge in on the spot. And um, which will be one of the features of one of, or one of the, the points I make in my upcoming videos uh, about why I use cartridges. And that is the fact that uh, when I travel, I hate traveling with bottles of ink. Um, I It terrifies me what happens to them, you know. So I would... Uh, I'll travel with cartridges and pens that sort of take them. And I've got a couple of products also to show that are uh, uh, helpful in that respect. But let's look at these uh, inks now. So I've put these all in Faber-Castell pens with medium nibs because I thought that was a fair way of sort of showing them. So I've got an Emotion, uh, a Basic, an Ondoro, and a Loom, all with these uh, uh, inked up. So let's... Uh, get started looking at these inks. So the first one is, oh, I'll start with the pen. So this is the Emotion, medium. And the ink here is Graf, from the Faber-Castell. And this is Violet Blue. So this is very violet. Um, I'm not doing reviews of the ink, I'm just sort of basically showing them because I think it's interesting to see that so many great colours come in cartridges, it's not just like uh, blues and blacks, uh, you know, so if you are wanting to use cartridges uh, but are interested in colours, these are wonderful options, these Graphon Faber-Castell cartridges. And they come in, you know, packs of everything from, you know, the, uh, I think it's six that you get in these, yeah, six uh, cartridges, Look that upside down, sorry, six cartridges through to boxes of, you know, 20 plus. Um, so convenient and you know and pretty available um so yeah it's a nice it's a nice violet i wouldn't call it violet blue personally uh, but it's a nice violet uh, on the lighter end of the or the lavender end as i sort of sometimes refer to it of the purple scale next i have the basic here so i'll just, I'll just reduce it down now to faber castell basic and this is a medium nib and the ink in this one is graph Barbe Castell, Royal Blue, a really solid blue, like, it, you know, Royal Blue is basically that, it's a really good solid writing blue, um, true blue colour, sometimes with a hint of purple in it, but I think this one stays pretty blue, uh, and good for everyday writing. Next is the uh, on Doro here, which is one of my favourite pens. I just think it is such a cool pen. Uh, that you know, lovely oak wood finish on this one. Oh, okay, there we go. Give it a rough start. Ah, oh, there we go. Hadn't been written with for a couple of days. Uh, on Doro, medium, 
And this is the graph from Faber Castell. Turquoise. I really like turquoise inks, and uh, this is no exception. This has a, it's, I think it is a, a blue turquoise, but there's a nice hint of green. Turquoise for me, I think uh, is not quite, obviously not as green as like an aqua, um, but I think if there's a hint of green in a turquoise, I am actually a, quite a fan of it. I think it's just a nice little hint towards sort of like a sea sort of blue, which I love in the turquoise. And then the last one I have here is the loom. This is the uh, one of the gunmetal looms. And once again, standard medium nib. Uh, and the ink in this one. Is cognac brown. So this is very light. It's almost like a burnt orange. I've oh, mixed in the blue there. Um, my fingers clean. There we go. Uh, I like it. One thing I love about uh, Graf and Faber Castell inks is that they aren't super super wet. Um, I do like wet inks. I'm not. You know. I'm, I'll never deny that. Um, but particularly when you're using cartridges and there's the convenience of it, there tends to be a feeling for me that these are uh, you know inks that uh, are more everyday inks. Um, you know, for writing at work and on the go and all those sorts of things. So having inks that aren't super wet and perform well is super important. And these do that. These Faber-Castell nibs are smooth and they are relatively wet. Um, and so you get nice shading and you get nice performance from these inks and they look great. And these are the same inks that they have in the bottles, like... Here is, um, you know, the moss green, which we'll be getting a review soon. So if you've got the cartridges, it's the same ink. Uh, it's So it's nice to be able to get inks in multiple formats. Uh, Dye Mind do that really well as well. Uh, and here are the uh, the um, Graph von Faber-Castell versions. So as I said, four Graph von Faber-Castell inks in cartridge form that I got sent um, ahead of a review. And these will be shown in another couple of videos that I've got coming up. Um, but thank you very much to Faber Castell in Australia for sending them. I uh, hope you found this video interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Uh, get in touch with me on you know Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or drop me a message here or an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your ink and I'll talk to you soon.